friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are outside. Um, wow, I sound really weird. I think it's allergies and slash a cold, one or the other or all of the above. But um, <laughs> I have a cough, as you can see. Anyway, so I'm sure it's really great for me to be mowing the lawn today, but that is what I'm doing. And it desperately needs to be done. So things have gotten a little out of hand. It is my first mow of the season and I probably should have done it earlier. Hopefully my mower will be able to take it fine. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, I am hoping to get this done. It's such a beautiful day. It's like um, low 60s, so it's not hot at all, but it's like sunny. It's been raining for so long. Like I'm just getting to this because it just rains every day and it's been so dreary, so dreary. So I am so happy to have a sunny day and it's supposed to be sunny all week, I think. So I'm thrilled to be able to get some of this done outside. I probably won't do much weed eating or anything like that. I probably should, but today it's late-ish in the afternoon and I'll just be really happy if I get the whole thing mowed. Luckily, one little benefit is that the lawn is still sort of torn up here so this whole area i won't have to mow so much but look how beautiful that little house is i did talk to some roofers and i am on the schedule i'm not sure when that's going to take place but hopefully sooner rather than later but it depends on how some things go on their end and i'm sure the weather and all that stuff but it'll be so nice to see a new roof super pumped it's gonna make so much difference but anyway, let's get cracking on this lawn and then I have a couple of cool things to show you up in the dormer. to call in reinforcements. It, it's close, but I pulled it with all my might and I didn't get anything. Is there not enough switch for the gas? I don't think so. I definitely didn't turn it off.
Okay, what a beautiful, hang on, my headphones. What a beautiful feeling. Okay, lawn is mowed. Let's take a look. Awesome. I feel like it was a pretty like quick, like, kind of sloppy job, but at least it's not super long. So it's weird because some of it was like not long at all. And then some of it was <laughs> like, I wasn't sure if the lawnmower was even gonna do it. It was so thick. You can see clumps over here. This area here is super thick. So I'm glad I did it when I did. But some parts I could barely even see where I was going. So it's all over the place, this lawn. But anyway, it's a good job done. I'm happy. I'll have to go back sometime with the weed eater and get some of the, the ditches and around the trees and stuff. But I was thinking while I was doing it, how thankful, <laughs> how thankful I am for the stumps that dad got out all those stumps last year. Just like so, so nice because there was one stump in the lawn which was cut after actually it was for my christmas tree so it was cut after dad did the stumps and just that one stump i was like man this is a pain to have to go around it and everything so i'm very very thankful that dad got all of those stumps out last year when he did but it's good it's like, it's a lot of work, I guess, to use a walking lawnmower versus a riding lawnmower, but you know, it's good to get exercise. I'm just gonna go for a walk anyway, and it's just pushing something, which is even more exercise. It's good for you. But I can also see that a riding lawnmower would be very quick. <laughs> my friend who mowed my lawn last year, it took him like 10 minutes. I don't know what time it is now. I guess it only took me an hour, so that's not bad. But like I said, I didn't do a very good job. And a lot of the um, front lawn in front of the house was all messed up from the um, bay window excavation stuff. So there's not lawn there, which is nice. But yeah, an hour is not bad for a quick mowing, I think. Also, there are so many rocks and like stuff areas that I just can't really do very well. So do what you can, you know. Anyway, I'm about ready to go eat some dinner, but before I do that, I wanted to show you a couple things upstairs. So, somebody's been working here. I'm not even 100% sure who, but they've been doing some stuff on the dormer. Do you notice anything different? The windows are open. It looks so nice. So they cut out the plywood where it was on the windows because we're putting house wrap around it and so just the house wrap will be on it until the windows come the windows actually i think should be here fairly soon like when i say fairly soon i think she said sometime in june so you know at some point we'll have windows and then you can just cut the house wrap and put the windows in however that works so that'll be good but I also see the, they're starting to work on the sides here. Both of the back sides are started. So that's really cool. And also let's just take a beautiful look out the window. Wow, that tin, I'm telling you actually. So we don't get like big storms here in the way of like tornadoes or whatever. Um, we don't get those at all, you know, but we do have wind sometimes obviously. But those pieces of tin that were everywhere, I'm pretty sure they were nicely stacked when we first took them off, but the wind must have blown them. So there's that. But I have something else I want to show you. Okay, this is something really cool. So you guys recall recently I told you about how I was thinking about using the pretty window that was over the bay window downstairs. I was thinking about using it as a transom above the bathroom door upstairs. So I talked to Jay about it and basically what we had realized is that it's not, I mean, it's, it was big. It was too, it's too big for that, but we had talked about maybe making it a little bit smaller so that it could fit above the door. So I'll show you the door right now. So this is the door hole. Um, it's a little bit short for what it was and 
it was a weird size across. But if you recall, the window itself was broken in a lot of places. So my thought was that we would have to, you know, put new glass in the window somehow, if that was even a thing, put new glass in the window if I, were, if I was gonna use it because it was broken. But Jay was like, well, if we shorten it, we could use just the parts that aren't broken and we could, and that would potentially fit above the, the door in that little spot that I just showed you. And I was like, yeah, that'd be great if that's like something that we can do because in my mind, I'm like a window, if it's broken, it's broken, you know? I don't, and how would you cut it without breaking the whole thing? I don't know, but good news, Jay is a genius. Okay, so check this out. Literally, I don't, I don't even know how, he just like took this home and then like, amazing, absolutely amazing. Look at this. So it's just, it's all the not broken side of the window. Look at how amazing. So he put a whole new frame around it and just used the, and he like had to solder the pieces together and stuff and just crazy. But look how beautiful. Isn't that so cool? And the new frame is so lovely. So this is gonna sit right on top of the window in the bathroom, uh, not window, door. And then light is gonna stream through into the hallway in this beautiful, funky glass. How cool is that? I just think that is gonna look really cool. Like what a cool little bam wow piece, you know? It's beautiful. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to see it up and how it looks in the wall and it's just really cool. So everyone be sure to say a huge thank you to Jay in the comments below for this amazing piece of the bathroom upstairs. Yeah, really cool stuff. So things are coming along. It looks so beautiful. I'm just loving to see the windows open. I know it's another temporary thing because we're going to have house wrap and then you won't be able to see out of it again. So drink up the sights while you can. The sights of garbage and destruction. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's looking nice outside. It's looking nice inside. I'm super excited about the window above here. Super cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in next time as we continue to do some exciting work at the house and I hope you have the most fantastic day.